Hey guys, this is Frank here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the new LoomTech 500 meter diver. This is the first dive watch that LoomTech came out with, and so I was really excited to pick this one up. And I just wanted to show you some details of the watch up close. This particular one is the 500M3, which is the PVD version with uh, the orange loom. There are also two other versions, another PVD version with white loom, and then there's a stainless steel version um, as well. <clears throat> uh, so just to go over the specs a little bit, this is a 44 millimeter size case you're getting. It's uh, 18 and a half millimeters thick and I measured it's 56 millimeters lug tip to lug tip and um, the lug width here is 24 millimeters in size. Um, solid stainless steel, um, very sturdy, built like a tank and the PVD coating is also very nice um, and it's finished flawlessly on my model. There are some people who have noticed maybe some discoloration of the PVD um, but my particular watch was perfectly fine so I haven't seen any issues with that. Uh, the crystal is a sapphire crystal domed. <clears throat> it's quite domed and uh, you do get some distortion from the side but personally I like domed crystals because um, it just makes it look nicer and they're probably <clears throat> more um, shatter resistant um, due to the, the curvature. Um, it does have double anti-reflective coating on the front and the back and uh, some of the anti-reflective coatings can show a lot of fingerprints or smudges um, but this one actually is not too bad at all and I think uh, the dome crystal helps to minimize some of the fingerprints that um, you might get on the watch. <clears throat> uh, now the bezel here it's 120 clicks and uh, it's very smooth easy to rotate. Um, there's a slight bit of play going clockwise um, nothing too major um, and it centers up at 12 o'clock uh, pretty much perfectly. Um, some people have criticized this watch a little bit because of uh, the bezel may be a little bit too easy to turn and um, I can demonstrate here if I just use one finger basically I can just use one finger to turn the bezel around. Um, so this is actually the only dive watch I have that is actually that easy to turn so uh, I have brushed the bezel against things um, accidentally and <clears throat> the bezel will just turn by itself so uh, that may be a little concerning if you're actually going to be diving um, down where timing is uh, critical um, but I don't really dive so that's really not a big deal for me. Uh, the case back here it's a uh, solid stainless steel. It's not PVD coated unfortunately. It would be nice if they did that but really it's not a big deal to me um, and then the printing is pretty basic straightforward nothing fancy but looks looks fine. Uh, the strap is a nice rubber strap as LoomTech printed on it. Um, it's a little bit on the thin side, but still it feels pretty sturdy. Um, it's not silicone. I'm not really sure what it is. Something a little bit stiffer than that. Um, you also get the uh, signed uh, PVD buckle, which is nicely done. Um, and you have two rubber keepers here. Um, they also even put little nubs on the end to keep the first keeper in place which I think is really I really like that feature and I wish that um, more companies would do that um, so it was a just really nice detail that they added <clears throat> and then uh, the holes out here basically the first hole uh, will fit a seven inch wrist and it will come up to a nine and a quarter inch wrist I believe um, now the movement here um, it's automatic and it's a SII NH15 movement that um, does hand wind but does not hack. Um, the crown here it's large and chunky, um, really easy to grip. It's got a little texture to it and I'm gonna unscrew it here. And the interesting thing is that it does um, pull out to two positions. Um, the first position where you would normally have the date um, if you turn it around you can actually feel some clicking like there would be a date wheel moving 
but because there's no date we'll cut out um, you can't see the date but uh, I don't know I'd be kind of interested to see uh, open it up and see if there really is a date wheel underneath um, since it does have a first click position uh, when you go to the second click position you can see it doesn't hack this, the second hand is still going um, and then you can change the time um, <clears throat> it doesn't hack but uh, some people try to use the back hacking and this particular watch if I try to pull um, go counterclockwise on the crown you can see that the second hand kind of jumps around it's kind of strange uh, with this the movement does that so you really can't set the second hand very accurately um, and then you can see it going again once you once you let go of the crown so um, I don't know it's not a real big deal to me I've had at a 2824s and personally I think hacking is a little overrated I don't really see why people are synchronizing their second hand when inherently automatics are a little inaccurate and um, you know after a day this the second hand could be off by a few seconds so I don't really see the point in synchronizing the second hand and, and needing the hacking feature so it's not a big deal to me um, hand winding is really smooth actually I think it's even smoother than the Etta's um, so I really like that and then this crown just you just push it in and it, it grabs the threads really easily and goes all the way in and there are a lot of turns to seat it I don't know how many but quite a bit so it seems pretty sturdy okay so here I'm gonna compare the Loom Tech to my Ocean 7 LM1 Loom Dial so here you can see them side by side, um, pretty similar in size, and here's the side profile. The um, Loom Tech is actually even taller than the Ocean 7, um, but they're, they're both pretty comparable. Now I'll go ahead and uh, fire the loom up for you. Okay, so I put uh, this watch under a 100 watt bulb for about um, 20 seconds. So here's the loom. And the interesting about the loom is that it actually grow, glows kind of this yellowish hue which is very different from the orange color that you see in the daylight um, but it's very nice and uh, it's really really good loom now I'm going to try to compare it to my um, Ocean 7 here and you can get an idea of the brightness the Ocean 7 is still brighter but the both looms are still very nice in my opinion so I'm going to go ahead and put it on the wrist here I have a seven inch wrist so uh, I have to use the very first hole on this strap but it fits just perfectly as you can see and the end of the strap comes about here so fits really nice okay so that's my review of the LoomTech 500 meter diver Hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.